a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Tree absolute plebs decided it's a good idea to go buy some gear. Will our valiant heroes succeed? Or is it all in vain? This ship is crappy. Well, if you had to lose all of our credits on Endor, we wouldn't be stuck in this tin can, bro. You said we wouldn't talk about Endor. Yeah, well, I just did. Uh, saw a Wookiee once. I thought he was cool. Man, I can't wait to get these herbs. Go straight to Cloud City. Oh, well, yeah, hell yeah, bro. Yeah, I can't wait too. I'm stony homegrown. Uh, I was. Yeah. I've only got myself a new speeder, I think. Sweet. Love what are speed. you going to get, John? I'm probably going to get some Crystal Stardust. <laughs> nice. The hell is Crystal Stardust? It's a three day trip, my friend. Mm, Sounds yeah. dull. I like the sound of that. Hope we have enough fuel to get to Jada. Wait. What do you need enough fuel to get to the I told you to refill at Endor. <gasps> Holy shit. Tim, take this wheel, man. Take this wheel, man. Uh, chill with that blaster, John. Yeah, I'll Come chill. On. I'll chill. Ah! <laughs> Welcome to Shed Talk! Today we're talking about Star Wars films and everything in general. Let's mm. get into it. So, hi. over the past few weeks, The Mandalorian's finished, you know, great show. Star Wars, the new movie came out yeah. recently. So uh, great, Star yeah. Wars is very big again. You know, it's always been big, but yeah, everybody's because talking about the, it now. I wasn't really too gone on the new movies, but like The Mandalorian, that's just... Like, Deadly. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's so different. It kind of reminds me of... Star Wars, and I mean like 70s Star Wars. Like. Yeah. It's kind of like westerns as well, like yeah, all the yeah. cowboy TV series where each episode is a different kind of story. Like that's how they kind of yeah seem to design the show as well. How much are they spending on each episode? They said, they said like, was it something like... Probably a lot of money. Probably. I think it's like money. a hundred... Probably a lot of money. Probably a couple a lot of million. million. Something like a hundred million for the whole season anyway, I think oh, it says. Oh, and there's, there's only, only like, episodes. what, eight episodes like eight out episodes, now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So. so like 10 million per episode pretty much. That's crazy money, man. Yeah. Sure, like, every episode was directed by someone new as well. Like, halfway through the season, it was directed by Bryce Dallas Howard. Yeah, Ron oh, Howard's yeah. daughter. Yeah. She, you know, your, um, the, um, ginger female in the new, um, Jurassic Park movies. Jurassic oh, Wars. yeah, yeah, yeah. Her, she directed, um, Sanctuary, and then the last episode was directed by Taika Waititi, who done Thor Ragnarok, Jojo Rabbit, and all That's that That's really stuff. cool, the way they're doing that, yeah. Yeah. Like I, d I thought it was just one director. No, it's one producer every for, for every, every episode, episode which yeah. is how it normally goes, but a director per episode. That's brilliant. Yeah. The girl who directed, there's a girl who directed two episodes, Deborah Chow, I can't remember, she directed the third episode, which is one of my favourites, uh, when like all the Mandalorians come into fight, and I uh, can't remember <laughs> the other one she directed, one of the later ones. She's directing the Obi Wan Kenobi series. Yeah. That was a brilliant which episode. It's going as well. to be amazing. Yeah, I've heard about that. Um, and McGregor coming back. When's that due to come out? Probably not for like um, two years. Maybe early twenty twenty one. Yeah. Sorry, early twenty twenty. Um, the next season of The Mandalorian is coming out August this year. Yeah, they've already like. That's already pretty cool. Season, I think. Yeah. And before we move any further, we need to address something on the couch beside me. This here is our guest on the podcast. This time, Mal Gagan. He's our audio guy yeah, on our the podcast. Yeah, sound guy. Hence why all the audio is on the table now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so is there anything that's been on your radar recently, Niall? On my way. The Witcher. The Witcher, yeah. Mm. I love The Witcher. The Witcher. I still I haven't got to watch it, but uh, my friend keeps going on about saying that it's like really, really good. It's great. It's a bit complex in it, a yeah, way. It, it's I really, really think I need to like it. bash out the game more and like get... Uh, it's, 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 based it's based off the books. It's based off the books. books. Yep. But, but you don't help. actually. I don't think you need to read the books or that. No, you don't. No, it's, it's like its own type it's of own story. Thing. It it. It's connected to the books, but you, it's a different story. Yeah, it's, yeah, it needs us um, to what the books. It's it's kind of it's kind of like if you were to read Game of Thrones, that like you would pick up on little things that are said in the series that would reference to something that is in the books, obviously. Mm. Like. Yeah. Yeah. So like, like, I think that the season is kind of like. Is it like a mashup? Because I haven't read the books, but I just read about it online. I think the the season is based off like the first two books. They kind of like put them together to make the mm. story or something. Because 
the first book is actually just a bunch of short stories it's not actually one whole big thing so i think they just like took bits and pieces how many episodes are out though i think there's eight eight? yeah eight eight, eight. yeah but they're an hour long it seems to be the go-to number for seasons now got it yeah. the mandalorian yeah. needs to be an hour long especially when they're like an hour long yeah yeah an hour long yeah so what was it what was the mm. last uh game of thrones episodes they obviously went up in time when they were coming towards the end um, it's like nearly an hour and a half like wasn't nearly it? an hour and a half yeah, and yeah eight seasons six sorry six episodes per season give or take a few yeah i don't really remember the i hear number. it was really bad i was not happy with the end of Game of Thrones. I haven't seen it, believe it or not. Yeah, I haven't seen it. Neither has my. But so I'm, we I still plan on watching it. So talk, I know it's meant to be bad, but like. Oh I no! I definitely advise watching it. Like it's 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 brilliant. Like uh, like all the other. I I really enjoyed it. Like I'm not gonna say that I didn't enjoy Game of Thrones. I mm. really did. Yeah. It was. But like there was just a couple of things at the end of the season where it felt like it was rushed and everything was based on like their special effects. Like and it was some of the dialogue seemed like it was kind of lacking and all, but still at the same time like it was a great achievement. And you have these guys working on like these actors. How many years did they have to spend Ten on Game years. of Thrones? Ten years. Yeah. That's a long time of your life to Ten be spent. Ten years on Game of Thrones. Yeah. When yeah. did that come out? Years. It came out kinda, like late two thousands. Yeah, it was. I was at the same time as Walking Dead, nearly. Yeah, it came out around the same time. And that's Break, fucking, Breaking Bad. Yeah, that's years and years, and years back. Like, um, well, I know that. Um, Kit Harrington was around 20 when he started and he's 33 now. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. It's crazy. Mm. Like, if you look at the season purely yeah. from an entertainment standpoint and how well it was made, yeah, great season. It was just that people who had been watching it had been watching it for the past five, ten years. Mm. They didn't want the show that they watched Invested. once a week every year to end. The actor I was going to talk about was Ewan McGregor. Train mm. spotting, Star Wars, Moulin Rouge. Yeah. Pretty much been in every type of Train movie. Spotting was brilliant one Train actually spotting, as well. Yeah. That's the first movie I seen him in properly outside of Star Wars because I've been a Star Wars fan my entire life. Yeah. I saw episode three in the cinema when I was five when it came out. Yeah. And then um, mm. that was my introduction to him as a character and since I've grown up more with it he's started yeah, popping well, up in more sh- that's mad. stuff I've liked. Yeah, the first one I seen him in was uh, Phantom of the Menace. Yeah, that was, and at the time I thought it was brilliant, but um, my cousin like hated it. But like he came from the time of watching like the original tree. Yeah. But um, yeah, no, Ewan McGregor, he's just something else. I mean, transporting as well, the acting he did in that, like I was just watching was some amazing, of the things yeah. he's done. And with Ewan McGregor as well, it loops back to the whole Mandalorian thing with. Ewan McGregor coming back for the Obi-Wan Kenobi series after 14 years of not so playing Obi-Wan. So he's actually... 14 years. Yeah, he's... He, it, a long enough time's passed where he's old enough to play the Obi-Wan Kenobi that we meet in episode four. In episode four because there was 20 years in between episode three oh, and yes, episode yes, four. Oh, yes, yes, yeah. And it's been 15 years since he's played Obi-Wan, so... Oh, so it, 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 it per, like it perfectly times out, yeah. Yeah. That's really interesting. That is. That's that's brilliant. Yeah. My God. Um, yeah. Go. yeah uh, do you have you have other ones as well, don't you? That you wanted to talk about? Um. Yeah. It's like some other actors like Samuel L. Jackson, Uma Thurman. And all yeah. Those. They're Pulp like Fiction, on my sure. He has Fiction. a like well Tarantino's like thing is having him in like most of his films. Yeah, he was in. Uh, tr- uh. Well, see, he was actually. True Romance was another one. Yeah. Was that um? That was Tarantino. That was Tarantino. Yeah. Reservoir. He wasn't in Reservoir Dogs. He was in Pulp Fiction and Oh, uh, Hateful Eight. Hateful Eight. Yeah. Like that's a big film on my list because yeah. it's just absolutely great. He was in yeah, Django. I, I Django. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Uh, in the tournament as well. Uh, Kill Bill. Kill Bill. Yeah. Pulp Fiction. You said Johnny liked Volume One, though you didn't yeah, like I, Volume Two. I didn't really like Volume Two. I liked how fast-paced because my attention span is just. Yeah. If it if the movie's too slow, I get bored. I stop watching it. I if, well, well, what I find with with that is if it's interesting, like an intellectual as well. Like sometimes yeah. it can drag out a bit. But like uh, sometimes you just have to be patient. Yeah. Lord of the Rings Wait, is a really good example of that. Yeah, yeah Lord of the Rings is a good is, example. Lord of the Rings is long but fast paced as well. It's There's so always it something happening. It's very rich with like, like lore and just 
you get lost like, in it kind you of you can know like yeah. watch those movies and then like oh, i didn't hear about this google it and you could spend all day just oh, reading about one specific character it's like when crazy Lord, like it just goes on forever like when lord of the rings came out like seeing that for the first time when we were kids that was absolutely amazing no spoilers please you haven't yep. seen lord haven't of the rings seen it. I don't whoa it. You haven't lived. I'm more of a sci-fi <laughs> guy than a fantasy. Sci-fi. Well, look, I like my sci-fi too, but you probably... Have you ever heard of Event Horizon? Event Horizon? No, I have not. And you watch sci-fi films, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're good at it. I know, I'm very... <laughs> no, say, sci-fi, to me, like, I, I've... Like, obviously, there's Star Wars, but there's, there's other ones as well, like, and there's some brilliant ideas. Like, Event Horizon was a, a ship that goes missing, and it reappears, and this team is coming to the ship, Mm. And basically, like they go on the ship, with, and they find out that this ship is after going through hell, mm. like in the universe, and it's after coming back. I like when they got on the ship, like they start seeing signs and things. But it was brilliant for us time. I think it was the, it was the nineties. Ah. Event Horizon came out. But there's a lot of great uh, sci-fi. Seemed to be a, a massive. Well, it became massive because you had Alien, and you obviously had uh, Star Wars, yeah. Star uh, Trek, maybe. Star Trek. Yeah, Star yeah but Trek they were all they were all the yeah. beginning. I put Star Trek more into sci-fi than Star Wars. Star Wars is more science fantasy. Yeah, well, yeah, well, no, it, it was it, it was science fiction, but it was fantasy as well. Like no, these... see, Star Wars has no real like science in there. I suppose, thing. yeah. Like sci-fi, there is for well, most of their stuff. There's a I don't scientific know. like uh, it has spaceships and stuff. Like, like, and uh, well, the, the, the fact that, that yeah, uh, we're space. we're still trying to figure out um, how to get the planets quicker, so light speed and stuff like that. There is references to mm. like yeah, but see the science. thing about Star Wars and light speed is that it's not light speed; it's hyperspeed. Hyperspeed, which is, yeah. Which is traveling to another plane of existence where you travel faster than coming out of. I suppose it, it is. Yeah, it is different. Do you know Vsauce? No. Have you, you did, so Vsauce three? I think it is. They did a thing about alien. Yeah. And they were like going through like how his acid, like the acid is like wouldn't necessarily burn straight through the hole straight away and stuff like that. They're oh just yeah. They bunk and stuff. And then he was just like, more than likely, if the alien is from a human and all that, it's a carbon-based creature. So really, to defeat it, you just cut off the oxygen, <laughs> and it would just. Do you imagine if it was that? <laughs> imagine yeah. it's like, so so isn't that how they done it? They sent it out into space, but yeah, yeah they could have easily just you know put on a space to cut off the oxygen. Alien oh yeah, noise. but like still you, you <laughs> want to, you'd have no film. Oh, I, I yeah, get that, have but no you'd have film, no, you'd have no armor. Sus- like I suppose you're working on suspense as well. Like uh, Jaws was one yeah, of like the horror horror first great ones for that. Horror one. movies only work with suspense. If you have a horror movie and there's no suspense, the payoff for what happens isn't as impactful as if there yeah. Was a suspense building up to it like exactly with yeah. jaws you don't see the shark until it attacks yeah stuff like that yeah like, you don't know what's going to happen and when that happens it shocks you well yeah that's the, where the whole scare idea comes from that's why but so they, a lot of people have talked on to that there. um i think like jaws is one of the first ones with that kind of idea yeah, it's of like, suspense pro like yeah. it was the first proper like way that they did the way that they did it was brilliant like spielberg and he had so many problems with the shark because they wasn't it the first movie to do? Do you know that dolly zoom thing? No, that's the um, Vertigo, where Al- Alfred Hitchcock oh, had the first right, dolly okay, zoom. Right, yeah. yeah? Yeah. Where you like dolly in, but you zoom out or something? Where you so, like, like, you move back like the... and zoom in, and it looks like they stay static, but the background Moves. starts to stretch. Yeah. Oh, man. So, oh, like, yeah. Thing, yeah. like, so in, like in Vertigo, with anxiety. And... I'm pretty sure in Jaws it was the first one with a specific subject on it uh-huh. like the main actor I don't know his yeah name. it was yeah, and then like the background moved but in Vertigo it was just trees and it was just like a normal walkway with trees on both sides and mm-hmm. avenue and he done the dolly zoom and it looked like the avenue stretched on for miles it kind of, oh, yeah it kind yeah. of reminds you of uh, when you get like a pure anxiety attack yeah, and everything seems so they, much further away yeah. they did that kind of effect in uh, was it Evil Dead Oh, Evil Dead, yeah, did that's they do a, something like that. Uh, well, they did no, they did this. Where he's going through the, the trees. Yeah, the yeah it was going really so fast, fast and following, and they had this like noise on it, like it was getting louder and louder as it was kind of coming towards you. And that was like one of the first films that did that as well. Sure, most like horror movies back in the eighties and all that they were kind of just yeah, there was B movies, be honest, cheap to create and. Well, Evil Dead was banned here. Like that was banned in a lot of places. Like I, I, I thought that was mad. Does it like, have reference to Satan or that? <laughs> well, yeah. Well, like, <laughs> yeah, see, but the cool like, thing about 
older horror movies is that like they were so much more original mm. yeah because they were all the first of the ideas whereas a lot of horror movies nowadays are just kind of like well it started with hammer based off like yeah, sure. a lot of know. movies nowadays most iterations maybe like video games yeah. movies it's either a sequel or a remake and sprinkled in between as original ideas yeah, yeah. Exactly. there's like especially i don't know about international film but hollywood film a lot of it's just some original ideas like quentin tarantino mm. and oh, then yeah. other movies are just series Nolan. like star wars all the marvel movies all the dc movies all of those they're new movies but they've been done before yeah but yeah, hollywood's gone to the like, dogs man in that yeah. way like they oh, yeah. they're bringing out so much crap like hollywood ruined vampires ruined vampires yeah Van- vampires the mythology around vampires and stuff oh what like film really are we what, what, what it's in Twilight obviously oh yeah Twilight, <laughs> yeah. Twilight, oh, I was just thinking in the back of my head like he's definitely gone on about Twilight it's like Twilight came out and the funny thing is like people do you know the Vampire Diaries yeah why not they um, the Vampire Diaries is kind of like takes all of its stuff from uh, old vampire mythology and stuff like yeah. that and it kind of like spins it and like the books for the Vampire Diaries also inspired the role playing game called Vampire so yeah. most of the stuff from that is from the Vampire Diaries. But if you're talk if you're talking about vampires and you're talking about how it got ruined, do you know who it started with? Like the original vampire the was Dracula. Yeah, but do you know like Bram obviously Stoker. Bram Stoker's Dracula? He's yeah. Irish. Was yeah the the book was the original oh, thing yeah. obviously, but um, the original actor that would have played uh, Dracula would have been uh, Christopher Lee, mm. and he was famous for all the Hammer horror stuff, and people are like. Oh, um, when you say his name, Lord of the Rings. Like, yeah, he was brilliant in Lord of the Rings, but he was he was Dracula, man. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, vampires are supposed to be scary. Oh, and he was and Star then, Wars then, as well, yeah. Then like, Twilight came out and just made them into a laughing stuff. Yeah, which, like just Twilight sucks, but they've done. Other, there is like, good like, hard, There is good vampire stuff. Uh, Underworld. The first Underworld, few Underworld yeah. worlds are pretty good. Uh, Underworld. Uh, I actually liked Dracula Untold. It's like the. The Vampire Diaries first season is a love story thing, but then it actually gets really good and it has like two spin off series of it now. Yeah. Which is I like, see, I haven't watched it, but I've seen it there. Like the originals has like four of the original, uh, is it three or four, four of the original vampires that all the other yeah. vampires come from. And one is called Nicholas, but he like is so afraid of being abandoned by people in that. Mm. He like knifes his sisters and brothers into the heart to make them like fall asleep forever and he just drags them around the coffins yeah oh. he true have you have you seen uh, Brandon Stalker's film I have not for all I can say is if you're madly into vampires that is one of the films that you just need to watch like because they were doing there's, t- there's things that they did in it that just blew my mind like uh, if you're watching the bits in the castle with him or there's a bit like where he's moving but you see his fucking shadow in the background moving and it's just like that film blew my mind, and then there there's a lot of Plus parts. Keanu Reeves is in it. Yeah, Keanu Reeves is in it. I wouldn't see him. It really badly. It badly dragged though. That was yeah. the problem I had with it. I wouldn't see him big into vampires or anything like that. It's just I like supernatural stuff. Yeah, like, I, love I really love stuff. the supernatural TV show. And then it went on for fourteen seasons of the exact same thing of the main characters dying and then coming back. And yeah, then so they they they, they messed it up. They messed it up. It should have ended on like I think. Season it's on Netflix as well, seven? isn't it? No, I think it's on Amazon. You know what? I've seen it on something else. Really underrated film is Daybreakers. Daybreakers. That's a deadly film, yeah. actually. Is that the it's one where the about. vampires have all the humans? Uh, like yeah, like and, uh, the world is like overrun by vampires, and yeah. there's only a few humans, and they just they're running out of like they harvest human blood, and they're like running low on like harvesting blood. Like it's a really fucking cool no. twist on the idea. Like yeah, do you know what's a really crappy vampire show? And you know it's crappy because the only the only thing that is really tying it together and making it popular is I think it's True Blood. Oh, I heard about so that. Like, is that like a, a police? No, no, no. It's, no. It, I think it's True Blood or something like that. No, V Wars sounds so. right. Not V Wars, no. Seen that recently. Uh, v Wars is actually not bad, but they have a weird fucking yeah, yeah. description of why they're turning. But whatever. Damn, yeah. Um, the, the Passage is another one I came out there recently. It's really good. True Blood vampires out themselves. And then the only thing that it, people probably watched it for was there was a lot of sex and shit in it. <laughs> so it's like there's no real story thing. <laughs> I hate to the way they always it's make just... vampires into like these fucking like 
lovey dovey kind of character. Yeah, but see, that's the, that, that's the thing. It's a fair. small part of it, but it's not. But I suppose it's a romantic. There is a romantic side to the whole fighting the neck thing, but it's not like. There is, but yeah, but it's it, so small and insignificant. When like you have insignificant. a 500 year old vampire go after a 16 year old, it's kind of strange. The yeah, only thing like that makes it okay is because the actor looks young. It's like, yeah, what? But <laughs> if, what if, you, <laughs> if you think about it, the, what the whole idea of them doing that is so they appeal to a certain type of audience. It's like by creating really these annoying. romantic <laughs> vampire films or something like that. Like they're trying to think like, oh, what would a couple watch at home on Netflix or something like that? Yeah. And then like it appeals to both people or something like that. And like it's something that also two people can enjoy or something like that. So that's maybe the idea that they have in their head when they're bringing out something like that. Or they think it's going to be good and it's crap anyway. <laughs> Speaking of vampires, everyone watched the trailer for Morbius. Mm. No, I have not. I, I have not. Trailers. Yeah, no, you don't watch trailers. I don't so. watch trailers. Or I do like watch. I like. I watch a little bit of a trailer, but I hate when they show a trailer and it just goes on and shows it. Like I actually seen a trailer that showed like an ending scene of a movie. I was just like, why would you do that? Like, and my cousin doesn't think it ruins anything on him. He just watches him and goes, Sh trailer don't ruin nothing. And I'm like, you're after like seeing yeah. like really really good scenes from the movie, and like then you're going to see it and you're like, ah. Oh. I would have enjoyed that much more if I just didn't know that that was going to happen. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. But uh, let's move on anyway. Um, yeah. Well, we all have lists of actors, and I've talked about mine. The craziest of them all has to be Buster Keaton. Yeah. I've seen a few clips of Yeah, like, it's pretty funny. Like, did, did you see the guy who broke his, like, spine and dropping from the Yeah, he, yeah. Uh, like, that, that scene, when you see him dropping from that building, mm. he's dropping so, like, from such a serious height. And like he hits his back, he falls down and everything, comes down, another maybe flight, hits the ground, gets and he jumps up, like he has a broken back. Mm. He jumps up and jumps onto the back of a um, I think it was some sort of truck and the truck pulls up. He never broke character. Mm. Ever. And that just like amazed me. Like he broke his back and didn't just be like yeah. Oh I feel like maybe after the take he gets off the truck and he's just like Ah, yeah, like but then again, <laughs> it, but then again, when I think about it, it could be adrenaline. Yes, yeah, definitely. that too. So, like, oh, yeah. I seen one that was it sure. You even see the uh, clip of uh, Formula One. This guy gets hit by a wheel goes over him or something. He's definitely like fucking broken bones. And he gets up and starts walking. Mm. Uh, first thing that was said to me is like adrenaline. And then I started to learn about like adrenaline and how like when it kicks in, you, you tend not to feel something. But uh, you definitely start to feel it after. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, sure. I read an article online before about, like, this person interviewed, like, multiple people who've been shot before. And, like, every one of them said, like, you just don't even feel it. Like, you just don't feel getting shot. Like, it's just all you feel is cold. It's I don't know really about that, weird. though. Like, I, I, I wouldn't, like, in some cases, maybe adrenaline could kick in for some people. But, man, like, definitely not everybody. Like, because you see, like, you'd see people screaming and all when they get shot, like... Yeah, that could be just from the fright of it as well. Yeah, yeah that's true. So yeah, they're screaming from the pain or are they screaming from like the idea that they heard a really loud bang and there's a chance that they got shot. <laughs> <laughs> that's some, yeah, that's some you see people getting shot sometimes in like those live videos or online and like they don't even realise it at first. You mm. see that shit. That's something that so I weird. wouldn't I wouldn't know. Like I wouldn't know if it's the fact that they're so scared or they're in pain. I wouldn't know because I haven't got shot. Mm. <laughs> None of us have been shot. Yeah. <laughs> like can we find out? Ah, yeah, well, well, we can, yeah. Next show or something, you can shoot me. Next skit, we'll shoot you. Yeah, yeah. or just Thanks. replace me with someone else. Yeah, sounds good. Mm. When, yeah. like... <laughs> <laughs> no pun uh, intended. <laughs> oh, man, Asian, like... Stunt actors. Stunt actors <laughs> are insane. Do you know fight scenes? Yeah, yeah. Like, they, mm. like, they would literally just... Go ham on each other. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Back, like, well, like, like amazing. Oh, was Jackie Chan was like he's legendary now. Like for some there's, of the things he's done. A <coughs> Jackie Chan movie where like Jackie Chan jumps out a window, lands on a tarp, and then lands on the road and runs away, and then someone else or something like jumps, and then the tarp goes in, and he like jumps off like a two-story balcony, and he like lands on the ground like on his ass, like, oh, yeah, like watch, watch. he breaks his fall with his feet, but like. Yeah, like doing that and like no, for, uh, no, like yeah, but sure, yeah, no, yeah, it's like you should watch hell? um these movies called Police Story. Oh, um, that's yeah, that's that's Quentin really. Quentin Tarantino well. actually said Police Story. I think three or four, the like last kind of fight chase scene. That was actually his favorite like action scene of any mm -hmm. film, I think. And uh, it's Jackie Chan, like, and it's just 
crazy. I've been told to watch it, they and I still have trains and everything. Like, I may speaking watch of it. Three shows. We made one. Yes. Yeah, well. we did. Yeah. <laughs> For Kenny Vice. <laughs> Kenny Vice. <laughs> based off Miami Vice. Based off. No, it's no. completely original. Completely it's original. Completely yeah, well, original. like, yeah, yeah. It's original. It hasn't been done before. Cops Nothing, hasn't been done before. New. The <laughs> subjects new. of cops has not been done before. No, never. <laughs> We're not the first once. people to think of this idea. We're this the first the people to be cops on camera. <laughs> first recorded police TV series. Right. Kenny Vice. Kenny, Kenny, Kenny Vice. Vice. Streaming yeah. on not much. Starring, <laughs> starring all of us. Yes. Yay. In this room. Yeah. Except the camera person. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> what have you got here, Jones? You got something, all right. Poor son of a bitch. That's the fifth time this week. He's missing his knob. My God. Beggars, you got something. We found a clip roach cigarette. There's only one man in this town we know that smokes those. It could be him. It's like the only one who gets them. My god, McManus, get over here. I have a strong suspicion that Jones might be your guy. It can't be. He's been in the force for years. He hasn't been the same since those killings started. There must be a correlation. Yeah. Why did you do it, Jones? Why did you do it? I was bored! You've gone oh. down for a long time, Jones. Yeah? Oh. So, with the actors now, we can move on to Timmy over here. Yeah. Uh, I remember if I picked was Leonardo DiCaprio or someone. Johnny else? Depp. Johnny Depp. Yeah, they're pretty. Clint pretty Eastwood. Pretty boring choices because they're just the typical ones that everyone loves. But um. Well, not really. Leonardo DiCaprio is like fucking. <laughs> yeah, but he's like everyone. Like you know. Yeah, he's like the most popular actor. Yeah, he's like everyone's favorite. Like I mean, Clint, Clint Eastwood. Eastwood. Then like, if you're to go in and talk about Clint Eastwood, man, he was like it, there was John Wayne and then there was Clint Eastwood. Like that's that's what you start with, like because he just kind of continued on the role of the badass. Fucking yeah, Clint Western. Eastwood's pretty Manly cool. Man. Um, yeah, I don't know, Johnny Depp is cool because he's just fucking so wacky and, uh... not a big fan of Johnny Depp. No? No, he just... You don't like a lot of things that people like. Yeah, yeah you, you... I like... actually don't, surprisingly. <laughs> it's not... But then again, when I say I'm not... I don't like them, it doesn't mean that they can't be good. Like, I'm not a big fan of Jim Carrey, but he can be good. Oh, yeah. I do, I I'm not it. straight out hating on people or being all like, oh, oh yeah, obviously. It's but like Christian Bale. I don't like Christian Bale, but he's a good actor. Yeah, but like if we're talking, <laughs> about, if we're talking about Johnny Johnny Depp, like if you, if you could say one thing about Johnny Depp, like what would it be? Like what film? Like obviously the film that hit the most for me was um, Fear and Loathing. But you're mm. you're probably Pirates of the Caribbean, are you? Yeah, well, Pirates of the Caribbean 2 is one of my favourite movies of all time, and the Jack well, Sparrow epic, is yeah. a pretty iconic character in our in, in film. Yeah, it's brilliant, yeah. like, surprisingly enough, and it's Disney, so... <laughs> yeah, and it's so... <laughs> those films are so freaking dark. I mean, that second film is about getting Davy Jones' freaking heart, True. and it's in a chest and all that, and people are, like, fighting over his heart, and if they try to kill his heart... Avengers like, Endgame it. It was like, really so. dark as well, if you think about it. Yeah, and Infinity War, everyone dies mm. and stuff, like... Spoilers. <laughs> it's been out like nearly two years now, so. Sorry, not so. No, uh, anyone that's a fan of the. Yeah, but people it. definitely. Yeah. People see. still get triggered when people spoil it. Six cents. Six oh, cents? Yeah. You know what? If you get triggered by spoilers. <laughs> look, look at me. Okay, look at me. If you get triggered by spoilers, you can fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Spoiler uh, okay. warning. Spoiler alert. And we're part of Scarabine as well. So many video games have been made from them. 
Mm. Yeah, my the favorite Lego. The tie movies, Lego. Yeah. Probably some other stuff. That Wait, I there's Lego heard. Pirates of the Caribbean games? Yeah. You bet there is. What? There's Lego yeah. everything. Yeah, there is Lego everything, honestly. I, I, I walked into a shop, <laughs> and this is just talking about Lego toys. Like, I walked into a uh, toy master with Tim. We were looking for uh, something for uh, Escape before, and I actually seen um, the Beatles' Yellow Submarine. Oh, yeah. I remember that, and it was like, I was like, what? Mm. And all the Beatles came with it. I was like, no way. Probably, <laughs> I the, to get best the, Lego idea. Friends, so. Probably the best idea Lego's ever had is Lego Minecraft. <laughs> because Minecraft is just Lego. It Pretty is, yeah, technically. Yeah. Mm. Blocks and shit. Heaven. Yeah, blocks. And so <laughs> and <shit>. <laughs> one <laughs> thing about the Mandalorian actually that we forgot to mention is how amazing the actor for the said Mandalorian is Pedro Pascal or Pedro Pascal yeah he's brilliant in Narcos he is amazing man. he's in Narcos Game of Thrones Kingsman um, Kingsman. Kingsman 2 Kingsman 2 was he the guy that um, fought the mountain in Game, Game of Thrones yeah, yeah. yeah he was yeah. he is an unreal dude that was a <laughs> nobody can rock a moustache like him he got no faced. <laughs> <laughs> it was rough. <laughs> Spoilers. Again. Again, yeah. Again. But again, refer to what I said a minute ago. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Timmy. Oh, no, I was done. Okay. Pedro Pascal was just. Yeah, Savage. Cool guy. Video games. Video games? Video games? Video games. Video games. Yeah. Video so, video as games. you can see by looking at all of us here, we're four massive losers. <laughs> yeah, pretty so much. So, we play video games. Like, look at David here. Yeah. He's the biggest loser of us all. <laughs> um, so well, if we, that camera turns off. So we all have. <laughs> he even has a green. Uh, it feels safe now. <laughs> he even has a bit of grey in his hair, like uh, what's her name from X Men? He has a bit of grey in her hair. Rogue. 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 Oh my god. Rogue He's like a going pussy on. little pussy rogue. Pussy rogue. Bleep that pussy. Now you have to do it twice. Wait, now. can't <laughs> rogue? Can't rogue kill people with their hands? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody can kill people with their hands. Look at this. I could, if I pushed in now, I could kill you with my hands. He could. Everybody can kill people with your hands. Not wrong. He did it to someone <laughs> before. We don't talk about that. We all have our <laughs> fa own favorite video games, like Niall, it's whatever he said to me earlier. Hotline Miami. Hotline Miami with David, it was whatever David said earlier. <laughs> well, thanks for listening. Uh, yeah. well, Resident Evil, yeah. Silent Hill. Oh, look at you, I love the zombies. Oh, oh look, look at me, I like the, the zombies. Love the zombies. Yeah. Zombie. <laughs> which Resident Evil's have you played <laughs> until then? Like, I know, I know. <laughs> Timmy, um, I'm pretty sure he wait, said Assassin's Creed. Wait, zombies? I think they homeless people. <laughs> yeah, I mean, as a whole, Assassin's Creed oh, is no. probably my favourite overall franchise, but my favourite game is probably The Witcher 3. You only started that recently. Oh no, I started replaying it recently. I've, oh, right. I've had it for years. Um, so yeah, probably The Witcher 3 is my favourite game. Yeah, one of the games. Well, instead of all of us just listening to our favorite games, like we're we actually like like we're going to talk about a little bit like. Well, why would you want to do, David? You know, it's you know it's a podcast. We can talk. We can't talk. You know, we could sit here for the next half hour and just stare blankly into the camera. I'm game for everything. Let's look. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> um. Okay. So, Silent Hill. Well, you literally just said you're going to talk about Resident Evil, and you're like, oh look, Silent, Silent Hill. Hill. LinkedIn, Woo. LinkedIn, Or <laughs> it is, it's LinkedIn. LinkedIn Park. <laughs> I actually hate that band so much. You hate LinkedIn Park? LinkedIn Park. Who's LinkedIn Park? LinkedIn. <laughs> LinkedIn. <laughs> LinkedIn. It's Paris Hilton's band. Paris Hilton's <laughs> band? Yeah. What are you going to talk about? Oh, with the Chihuahua. <laughs> Silent Hill. Silent Hill. Yeah, yeah like, Chihuahua. I suppose, like, when the games came out, I was, like, I, I, I was enough. really, really young, so like it would have been Silent Hill 1 on the PS1, so like I remember walking in, my brother was playing it, like, and the graphics, like, obviously back then weren't the greatest, but we're still like terrified like when we're playing it, but I just like remember some nostalgia from it, and I can't get the original one anymore, but I, can still, I think I have like two, the director's cut, I love it, but a lot of people would hate it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, horror, yeah, horror is like they're a required test. The camera angle is The lighting in the Silent Hill, Silent Hill 1 was beyond its time. It actually had, I think, well not dynamic shadows, but it, the light felt like a light. <laughs> yeah, well you're looking, you're, you're, you're looking at a brighter part of the screen. Yeah. You're looking at the beginning of like what we have today, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Like, and there's appreciation there for it. Obviously, like things are... Games are a lot better now, like, you know what I mean, uh, graphics-wise, and... Graphics don't make a game. Graphics don't make... Uh, yeah, but, like, 
Yeah, but Minecraft. I'm just saying, like, the quality of the games that you have and, like, what you can do The type now of game that you're better. playing, though, the graphics can make it... Like, if you're playing a game like Red Dead Redemption 2... Oh, yeah, dude. Or, if, had, you're, like, trash or if you're playing, like, yeah, Forza or anything like that, like, and you're looking at, like, the graphics... And, I, graphics? And what do you mean graphics don't play a big part in games? They, I, they did, don't. I never said they don't... They, 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 do they just don't make... A good game. No, they don't make, they a, make good a good game. game. A good game. Oh no, look way better. Amazing. Yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but no, I never. Make a good game. I never said it makes a good game. I, I'm saying the change in like that, for, like the beginning, like you were saying, Silent oh, Hill yeah. One had lighting that was like way ahead, There's and so... now you see like what we have now in games. It's just like it's like Resident Evil Two. And the size. Like, groundbreaking yeah. graphics because they used pre-rendered backgrounds mm. and oh, like a static man. camera, and stuff Sorry. like that. It's like. You right there, Johnny? Yeah. Feel a bit <laughs> sick? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the burpy. <laughs> the gassy. Like... I just had yeah, they're just... a carton of milk. A carton of milk? Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah, you've had the banana. Yeah. I'm very wary <laughs> right now. <laughs> you get sick, get sick of the dead plant over there. So, if you want to go into Assassin's Creed, because you were talking about it before David here rudely interrupted it. Yeah, it's okay. He does it all the time. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, Assassin's Creed is just, like fucking pretty classic franchise at this stage. Um, my favorite is probably Assassin's Creed Four Black Flag. I just thought the, the open world, Savage. trailing around on the ship, is just amazing. The Caribbean just looks class. I'm still waiting for a proper remaster of that. I'm not a huge fan of how Assassin's Creed has kind of become more actiony and less like stealthy and stuff. Yeah. Wasn't um, it always stealthy? Uh, yeah. Sorry. It was stealthy, but if you got into a pickle, you could literally just hold down RT and X and just yeah, yeah do the counter and stuff. And but like, it's really kind of gone away from um, all the stuff. It's you know, turned more kind of into like. It's like an RP a Final Fantasy esque game. There, there's skill trees that you can upgrade, so there's ranged, stealth, or aggressive, and you can like mix and match them, or you can go specifically down one thing. Yeah, the that is true. Combat sort of turned into Dark Souls with the counter mechanics, the roll mechanics, yeah, dodging the dodge and, and all stuff. That. Yeah. Anything with Ubisoft, if they bring out a new thing that gameplay aspect in another game, you can be sure enough it's gonna to appear. But wasn't in another game? Yeah. Didn't Origins come out before. No, For Honor did. Oh. Sure, they're after turning freaking. Off, uh, it came out after Rainbow Six Siege, and then Origins came out. I thought Origins was much older. They turned freaking Ghost Recon into stupid Division. Like, it's really annoying. Oh, I hate that game, actually, the Division. Division. Yeah, it's crap. You know what game really annoys me? Wow. Far Cry. Far Cry? Yeah. Could never get into it. I had the one that now, was Now, which one are you on about now? <laughs> after. Tree. After right, three, they have been the exact same game. Fair, fair enough. Sense. Like I thought you were gonna say stuff about like what? two and all, like because two I is savage. Get, it's two to one in Africa. Yeah. Yeah. What right, I don't yeah. get though is Far Cry Five is pretty much the whole story basis of one of the Rainbow Six Siege games called Rainbow Six. Uh, I haven't Rainbow played the new ones. Patriots. So I wouldn't really. It was about an oh, like, in-house terrorist yeah. group, and then they got incredible like backlash. And they fucking yeah. cancelled so the game. Cut it and then they made Siege. Siege. And then Far Cry 5 is literally an that in-house story. terrorist group. <laughs> Who, um, yeah. Yeah. Who's I over? I that trailer for Rainbow Six Patriots now and again. I circle back to it. Do we uh, have anything to do with them games? No. No, no, no. Who has to do with them? Ubisoft. It's Ubisoft, yeah. Yeah, they're the worst. Oh, yeah. they're, they're making a really good comeback. With what? Star Wars games. Battlefront yeah, 2 is amazing. Jedi Fallen Order is class. Yeah, but they're still. I they're they're always there's always something about them that I just don't like. They're they're gone very like everything's about. With my listing of the top three least favorite gaming companies that I still buy the games for, it's Ubisoft, EA, Activision. Activision. Activision, Activision are the worst. Yeah. Really shady for it now. Like yeah, Activision yeah. are way worse than EA. Yeah, they said no there's going to be no loot boxes. No loot boxes. And um, no in-game purchases, microtransactions, they yeah. just released a battle pass for the game recently. Tons of Actually, that, fucking what annoys, well, well, it annoys me to the fact that like game companies are doing it, but like it's just another way of making money. Yeah, people are just solve for it. If it's a free-to-play game, I fully agree with Yeah, I don't mind that, yeah. Like it's a Warframe source of income or something, yeah. for, like, 
Yeah, I, I, I suppose yeah, in like that Warframe case, and when you pay Fortnite seventy stuff. euro for, for a game, and don't get the full game. Like, Here, here's a battle pass for these skins that you could technically be able to unlock if you were back in like 2010 yeah yeah with like modern warfare 3 and stuff but like see, that it's like the thing that so fucking the reason, monetizing I, like, something. the reason i excuse that for though is that the price of games has stayed static since gaming first became That's a thing true. so like mario back in the day like the first mario bros game would have been 70 60 euro but games like nowadays cost millions upon millions to make and they still search the 60 or 70 dollars so mm. the micro transactions is to keep the game's price down at what they all originally mm. are and they can still i don't mind but there's more gamers which game. means the companies have more money as long as it's cosmetic yeah as long as it's cosmetic and yeah, you know yeah, yeah. what you're buying yeah if it's paid to win yeah the random I ass loot boxes yeah the random so ass much. thing is at least fortnite they yeah. have a uh, like cycle of stuff in their store every like 24 hours or something right yeah, I yeah. Did something but like at that. least you know what you're going to buy exactly like it's <laughs> fucking just... bullshit the way you do your it's when did that start up the um, the thing where they start putting in like battle passes so like, like oh yeah I'll stop that you have to pay for like and then you're, you're there and like I own the game it's always been there yeah, I suppose with, like, a uh, Season Pass, like, uh, if you're getting all the maps and stuff for online and oh, stuff like that. Oh, Season like, Passes have existed since, like, multiplayer games have become a thing. Yeah, like, but that's all right. Yeah, the Halo first, 2 like, never had, had problem map with that. packs, DLCs, Halo 3, all the first-person yeah. shooters, online the multiplayer DLCs, have that's, always that's had. Yeah, it's, like, new, it's completely new content that they're creating, DLCs. and obviously they want to get paid for it as well, so, like, it's yeah, like, I get that. And like expansion DLC. packs would have been, like, the earlier version of yeah, DLCs. Yeah, like, so, like, so, like yeah, World of Warcraft. Half-Life. But, say, like, you're playing a game, and you need to pay for a fucking hammer or something. Yeah, the whole microtransaction thing is probably, like, what, 2013, 14? That's what plagues, like, free-to-play shooters and, like, just games in general before Fortnite came out was the idea of yes it's free but to get a gun or that that you will actually kill the person in two shots you have to pay like 30 euro to get and you don't even get to keep it you get to keep it for maybe like 24 a hours. month yeah <laughs> <laughs> like pay us 15 quid so you can use this gun in every match for a day a day yeah. rent this gun in the game for 15 euro you can also buy this gun with in-game stuff but you're gonna have to put in your whole life yeah you're gonna have to dedicate <laughs> your fucking like this soul. game cost 750 coins but 750 coins guess how much that cost 99.99 yeah right sure best deal there we'll, we'll let Niall there talk Johnny anyway talk about about what game oh hotline miami yeah like you Ooh. that's your game is it oh yeah and it's it i've I, never on, heard of that on it it's like based during the 80s and it's like, like about it. this guy who gets uh random calls from people and says uh here's an address go deliver the pizza or something like that but you're not delivering the pizza you're actually fighting the Russian mafia on the ground. <laughs> so you show up at like these buildings and like you put di the different masks that you can wear have like different abilities and right. stuff like that. Yeah. So like there's one that's a zebra <laughs> and if you put the zebra one and you open a door and there's a bad guy in front of the door and it hits him, you kill him. You may show me this guy. But it's like it sounds yeah, bad popular. guys like die in one shot, but you also die in one shot. What is it on everything or is it's, it just PC? I think it's on PC. It could be on console at this stage, maybe. I don't know because I've never heard of it. It's so. an old enough game. It's an indie it's game. A it's made by uh, game, isn't it? Devolver or something. It's a top-down. It's shooter. a top-down. No, oh, right, yeah. There's two. I've of them. only played like one or two of them. Games. But the soundtrack is really good in it as well. Yeah. Uh, and there's a deeper underlining to it as well. It's about like how. It's a commentary on how like violence in entertainment now has become just really accepted yeah and the fact that like we've become desensitized, desensitized to it, to it. yeah yeah and no, it just plays off the fact that like Fine, as it's the cool. player it's like okay. you're hurting people but because you're not in the game world or anything like that you really don't care they're yeah. literally mowing people down and stuff like like in the first it's level there's fun, like man. A, a homeless man or something that like spots you do something and you like bash his brains in <laughs> and it's like you didn't need to bash his brains in but you did you it did anyway it. Yeah. <laughs> just because you we told you bash his brains in you bashed his brains in <laughs> that's a cool actually idea mm -hmm. i like the sound of that i've definitely heard of the game i haven't played it though 
I've I struggled to play games that are like in the top down. I know like the first Fallout's were like that, and the first GTA's were like that as well. My big game is the Minecraft, se- specifically the second and third Saints Row games. Beautiful Saints choice. Row. Yeah, beautiful. The choice. second Saints Row game is really Ian, good. I Ian played Lyle. Saints Absolute Row. Classic. And I think I, I played the second one. I liked it. I it was the third one, the kind of cartoony ish. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And there's one where you're the president then That's or something. The fourth yeah. One, yeah. Uh, so just, it goes Saints Row one. It's it's yeah, okay. Just, it's yeah. it's a GTA clone pretty much. Then Saints Row two it kinda like steps its foot into like the whole crazy aspect and stuff. Saints Row Three goes down like it's a lot more crazy and I Was there superpowers in the fourth, fourth one? Fourth yeah. one. Yeah. And the third one It yeah. wasn't. It was just, it's just you're you used a celebrity to play, that you had the third one. I remember in your house playing it like once or twice back in the day. Yeah, I remember playing it. I wasn't too gone on it. I was playing it for a while. I, I liked it, but like I wasn't like, oh, this is on here. Uh, the reason it's class. It the reason they're on. so big for me yeah. is because I used to play them with my dad. Oh, like me and I my get dad you, yeah. would play Saints Row. Um, the soundtracks in Saints Row really paved the way for the music I like now as well. Oh yeah, yeah. the Saints yeah. Row Two soundtrack had My Chemical Romance. Paramore, Panic at the Disco, Avenged Sevenfold. Those four bands I listened to from when I was 12. Yeah. When I was 17, and I found them through that game. Oh, yeah? Yeah. There's an MF Doom song in uh, Saints Row 3. I don't know if you know who MF Doom is. Yeah. yeah. Everyone listens to MF Doom. Yeah, know. MF Doom is savage. Underground yeah, like rapper. Just the over the top wacky action in the second one and third one. Just, just it's epic, fun like. to play. Like me and Lionel are doing a playthrough of the second one now, nice. and it's a clunky as hell game because it oh, came yeah. out 13 it's years ago. It's so I can, hard to aim, man. And I, I never, completely. Yeah, the walking um, itself. And when you try to well, shoot, like, it like takes a while for the button to actually register. Oh, yeah. You want to shoot? Yeah. And yeah. like barely shoot. vibration. It's like, just the nostalgia mm. on that game for me. Force, just yeah, I completely me back to it. Scarface as well. Oh man, Scarface. So I think such a good game. Games don't cause violence. Stupid people who cause violence. That's what's happened to play games sometimes. Video I think games is just a new media. I think yeah. we're close to time now. I think it's time to wrap up. Wrap up? Yeah. Wrap. Who are we wrapping? Everybody, up. check out our mm-hmm. skits. Uh, Star Wars skit. It's untitled as of yet. Um, I think we'll. We may not have one, but we may. We're going to plug show. it in here anyway. Yes. <laughs> um, well. Thank you for watching the third official episode of Shed Talk. We'll see you Thank next you. time. Thank you. Goodbye. Next Good time. Next time. Next time. Which one? Next this time. One. Next time. Next oh. time. Next oh, time. As well. Except his. No, I wasn't talking about all of ours. I meant Kindred's no. socials. No, I mean social. Three, like. John the Bank on Instagram. Check it out. Boop, boop. See ya. Oh, bye bye. 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 B